Good morning. Welcome, God's people. You reached Waiting for the One, Grace Podcast, Scriptures Read Daily from New Living Translation Bible, along with daily greetings, requests for happy birthdays, births, anniversaries, other prayer requests, poems, and more. Let us begin with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, let your word resonate and penetrate in us and give us faith, love, hope, health, wisdom, strength, and all we need for today. Amen. Psalm 91 is a protection prayer. The recommendation of reading or hearing it is one to two times daily. Today, we recite it together. That is Psalm 91, 1 to 16. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God, and I trust him. For he will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly disease. He will cover you with his feathers. He will shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. Do not be afraid of the terrors of the night, nor the arrow that flies in the day. Do not dread the disease that stalks in darkness, nor the disaster that strikes at midday. Though a thousand fall at your side, though ten thousand are dying around you, these evils will not touch you. Just open your eyes and see how the wicked are punished. If you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the Most High your shelter, no evil will conquer you. No plague will come near your home, for he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. They will hold you up with their hands, so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. You will trample upon lions and cobras. You will crush fierce lions and serpents under your feet. The Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. When they call on me, I will answer. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue and honor them. I will reward them with a long life and give them my salvation. The first scripture of today is Matthew twenty-three, thirty-seven to 39. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the city that kills the prophets and stones God's messengers. How often I wanted to gather your children together as a hen protects her chicks beneath her wings, but you wouldn't let me. And now, look, your house is abandoned and desolate. For I tell you this, you will never see me again until you say blessings on the one who comes in the name of the Lord. The next scripture is 1 Corinthians six nineteen to 20, and it is the last scripture of the day. Don't you realize that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, who lives in you and was given to you by God? You do not belong to yourself, for God bought you with a high price, so you must honor God with your body. Now we have extra suggestive reading. Matthew 23, 1 to 39. 1 Corinthians 6, 1 to 20. Today's imagery title, Jesus has the greater blessings, is found on part two of the same title. We have no birthdays. And we have no occasional requests, nor do we have any prayer requests today. Thank you for listening in with us. And we hope that you join us in part two of the imagery. Jesus has the greater blessings. And we look forward to you listening in tomorrow. Tomorrow's theme is a poem titled, On That Night. Birthdays, occasional 
prayers, requests can be left at wishingwell142 at gmail.com. The two W's are capitalized and the remaining letters are lowercase. A reminder, all birthdays, occasional requests, anniversaries for October 10th to the 23rd to be podcasted. The last day to have them in is September 19th. Thank you. Come and be part of our prayer team that is changing the lives of God's people while we are experiencing a changing world where we need hope and assurance of God's work so that God can then receive the glory he deserves and bring others to faith. Email wishingwell142 at gmail.com Attention WFTO dash prayer team slash prayer warrior dash join. Have a God blessed, fantastic Friday for yourselves and your families. Amen.